Question 1. What is the primary objective of exploratory data analysis, EDA, in big data analytics? A. Identifying trends and patterns in the data. B. Preparing data for machine learning algorithms. C. Assessing model performance. D. Selecting the most relevant features. The correct answer is A. Identifying trends and patterns in the data. Explanation. Exploratory data analysis, EDA, aims to uncover trends, patterns, and relationships within the data through visual and statistical methods. By exploring the dataset's characteristics, such as distributions, correlations, and outliers, analysts gain insights into the underlying structure of the data, which can inform subsequent analysis and decision-making processes. Question 2. Mr. Anderson is tasked with cleaning a large dataset for analysis. What technique should he use to handle missing values effectively? A. Removing rows with missing values. B. Imputing missing values with mean or median. C. Ignoring missing values during analysis. D. Filling missing values with zeros. The correct answer is B. Imputing missing values with mean or median. Explanation. Imputing missing values with mean or median is a common technique used in data wrangling to handle missing data effectively. This approach replaces missing values with the mean or median of the respective feature, preserving the overall distribution and statistical properties of the data. Question 3. What is the purpose of big data technologies such as Hadoop and Spark in data science and analytics? A. Efficient storage and processing of large volumes of data. B. Visualization of complex data structures. C. Generating predictive models. D. Extracting insights from structured databases. The correct answer is A. Efficient storage and processing of large volumes of data. Explanation. Big data technologies such as Hadoop and Spark are designed to address the challenges associated with storing, managing, and processing large volumes of data. These technologies provide distributed storage and processing frameworks that enable organizations to efficiently handle massive datasets across clusters of commodity hardware. Question 4. When preparing data for machine learning tasks, what is the primary goal of feature engineering methods? A. Increasing the complexity of the dataset. B. Reducing the dimensionality of the dataset. C. Enhancing the interpretability of the dataset. D. Improving the predictive performance of machine learning models. The correct answer is D. Improving the predictive performance of machine learning models. Explanation. Feature engineering is a critical step in the machine learning pipeline aimed at enhancing the quality of input features to improve the predictive performance of models. Question 5. Which technique is commonly used for model selection and evaluation in machine learning to assess a model's performance on unseen data? A. Confusion matrix. B. Training accuracy. C. Overfitting analysis. D. Cross-validation. The correct answer is D, cross-validation. Explanation. Cross-validation is a widely used technique for model selection and evaluation in machine learning, particularly for assessing a model's performance on unseen data. Cross-validation involves partitioning the dataset into multiple subsets, known as folds, and iteratively training and evaluating the model on different combinations of training and validation data. Question 6. Which machine learning algorithm is well suited for processing and analyzing large scale datasets commonly encountered in big data applications? A. Decision trees. B. K nearest neighbors, KNN. C. Support vector machines, SVM. D. Gradient boosting machines, GBM. The correct answer is D. Gradient Boosting Machines, GBM Explanation 
Gradient boosting machines, GBM, are a powerful class of machine learning algorithms well suited for processing and analyzing large scale datasets commonly encountered in big data applications. Question 7. When applying computer vision techniques in big data analytics, what is the primary purpose of image segmentation? A. Identifying and labeling individual objects or regions within an image. B. Enhancing the resolution of low quality images. C. Generating artistic filters for visual effects. D. Converting images into numerical data arrays. The correct answer is A. Identifying and labeling individual objects or regions within an image. Explanation. Image segmentation is a crucial step in computer vision where an image is partitioned into multiple segments or regions to simplify its representation and facilitate analysis. The primary purpose of image segmentation is to identify and label individual objects or regions within an image based on their visual properties such as color, texture, or intensity. Question 8. Mr. Anderson is a financial analyst working for a large investment firm. He is tasked with analyzing vast amounts of financial data to identify market trends and make investment recommendations. Which of the following technologies is most suitable for processing and analyzing such large-scale financial datasets? A. Relational databases. B. NoSQL databases. C. Hadoop ecosystem. D. Blockchain technology. The correct answer is C. Hadoop ecosystem. Explanation. In the context of processing and analyzing large-scale financial datasets, the Hadoop ecosystem, which includes technologies such as the Hadoop Distributed File System, HDFS, and Apache Spark, is most suitable. Hadoop is specifically designed to handle big data, enabling parallel processing and distributed computing across clusters of commodity hardware. Question 9. Why is model interpretability and explainability important in big data analytics? A to conceal the inner workings of machine learning models from stakeholders. b. To improve the transparency and trustworthiness of model predictions. c. To prioritize model accuracy over human understanding. d. To minimize the impact of data quality issues on model performance. The correct answer is b to improve the transparency and trustworthiness of model predictions. Explanation. Model interpretability and explainability are essential in big data analytics to improve the transparency and trustworthiness of model predictions. As organizations increasingly rely on machine learning models to make critical decisions, stakeholders need to understand how these models arrive at their predictions or recommendations. Question 10. When implementing anomaly detection methods for big data, which approach is commonly used to detect outliers based on their distance from the centroid of the data? A. Density-based spatial clustering of applications with noise, DBSCAN. B. Isolation forest. C. K means clustering. D. Principal component analysis, PCA. The correct answer is B. Isolation forest. Explanation. Isolation forest is a popular anomaly detection algorithm that operates by isolating outliers in a dataset based on their distinctiveness or rarity compared to normal data points. Unlike traditional density-based or distance-based methods, isolation forest utilizes an ensemble of isolation trees to identify anomalies efficiently, particularly in high-dimensional spaces or datasets with mixed types of features. Question 11. In time series analysis and forecasting, what technique is commonly used to decompose a time series into its trend, seasonality, and residual components? A. Autoregressive Integrated Moving Average, ARIMA, Modeling. B. Singular Value Decomposition, SVD. C. Fast Fourier Transform, FFT. D. Exponential Smoothing Methods. The correct answer is A. Autoregressive Integrated Moving Average, ARIMA, Modeling. Explanation. Autoregressive Integrated Moving Average, ARIMA, 
Modeling is a widely used technique for time series analysis and forecasting, particularly in decomposing time series data into its constituent components, trend, seasonality, and residual, or error, components. Question 12. When deploying a machine learning model for big data analytics, what is a key consideration regarding model scalability? A. The number of features in the dataset. B. The size of the training data. C. The ability to handle increasing data volume. D. The complexity of the model algorithm. The correct answer is C. The ability to handle increasing data volume. Explanation. Model scalability in the context of big data analytics refers to the ability of the deployed model to handle increasing data volume efficiently. As datasets grow in size, the deployed model should be capable of processing and analyzing larger volumes of data without sacrificing performance or requiring extensive computational resources. Question 13. Which technique is commonly used for real-time stream processing in big data analytics? A. Batch processing. B. MapReduce. C. Spark streaming. D. Data warehousing. The correct answer is C. Spark streaming. Explanation. Spark streaming is a commonly used technique for real-time stream processing in big data analytics. It enables organizations to process and analyze data streams in real time, providing low latency and near real time insights into streaming data sources. Question 14. In the context of big data analytics, what is the primary purpose of data privacy regulations? A. To hinder data sharing between organizations for collaborative analytics. B. To ensure that individuals have control over their personal data. C. To increase the complexity of data governance practices. D. To prioritize convenience over data security. The correct answer is B. To ensure that individuals have control over their personal data. Explanation. Data privacy regulations, such as GDPR, General Data Protection Regulation, and CCPA, California Consumer Privacy Act, aim to protect individuals' personal data by ensuring they have control over how it is collected, processed, and shared. Question 15. What is a key advantage of distributed computing for big data processing? A. Simplified data storage management. B. Reduced complexity in data analysis. C. Enhanced fault tolerance and reliability. D. Lower hardware infrastructure costs. The correct answer is C. Enhanced fault tolerance and reliability. Explanation. A key advantage of distributed computing for big data processing is enhanced fault tolerance and reliability. Distributed computing frameworks such as Apache Hadoop and Apache Spark are designed to operate across clusters of interconnected machines, enabling data processing tasks to be distributed and executed in parallel. Question 16. What are some security challenges associated with big data environments? A. Limited scalability due to data volume and velocity. B. Inadequate encryption of sensitive data. C. Lack of data variety in heterogeneous datasets. D. Over-reliance on legacy security measures. The correct answer is B. Inadequate encryption of sensitive data. Explanation. One of the significant security challenges in big data environments is the inadequate encryption of sensitive data. With the vast volumes of data being generated, processed, and stored in big data systems, Ensuring the confidentiality and integrity of sensitive information is paramount. Question 17. What is the role of data governance and compliance in big data analytics? A. To restrict data access and limit analytical capabilities. B. To ensure that data is used in accordance with ethical principles. C. To prioritize data sharing over privacy concerns. D to discourage organizations from adopting big data technologies. The correct answer is B. To ensure that data is used in accordance with ethical principles. 
Explanation. Data governance and compliance in big data analytics are essential for ensuring that data is used responsibly and ethically. Data governance encompasses the policies, processes, and controls implemented by organizations to manage data assets effectively, including data quality, security, and privacy. Question 18. Consider the role of cloud computing in big data analytics. Which of the following statements best describes the significance of cloud computing in this context? A. Cloud computing eliminates the need for data storage. B. Cloud computing reduces the need for computational resources. C. Cloud computing provides on-demand access to scalable computing resources. D. Cloud computing increases data security risks. The correct answer is C. Cloud computing provides on-demand access to scalable computing resources. Explanation. Cloud computing plays a crucial role in big data analytics by providing on-demand access to scalable computing resources, such as storage and processing power, over the Internet. This enables organizations to handle large volumes of data efficiently without investing heavily in building and maintaining their infrastructure. Question 19. In the context of edge computing and IoT data analytics, which of the following best describes the term edge computing? A. A process where data is processed at a central data center. B. A technique that involves processing data closer to the source of data generation. C. Storing all data on local devices without any processing. D. Transmitting data directly to the cloud without any intermediate processing. The correct answer is B. A technique that involves processing data closer to the source of data generation. Explanation. Edge computing is a distributed computing paradigm that brings computation and data storage closer to the location where it is needed, i.e., closer to the source of data generation. It aims to reduce latency and bandwidth usage by processing data locally on edge devices, such as IoT sensors or gateways, before transmitting it to a central data center or the cloud for further analysis. Question 20. In the realm of big data analytics for healthcare, which of the following best represents the potential benefits of employing predictive analytics? A. Identifying trends and patterns in patient data for proactive intervention. B. Encrypting all patient data to ensure privacy and security. C. Limiting access to healthcare data to authorized personnel only. D. Storing patient records in paper format for increased security. The correct answer is A. Identifying trends and patterns in patient data for proactive intervention. Explanation. Predictive analytics in healthcare involves analyzing historical patient data to identify trends and patterns and make predictions about future health outcomes or potential medical issues. By leveraging advanced algorithms and machine learning techniques, healthcare organizations can detect early signs of diseases, forecast patient health risks, and personalize treatment plans leading to proactive interventions and improved patient outcomes. Question 21. What role does data wrangling play in the data science process? A. Selecting the most appropriate machine learning algorithms. B. Extracting insights from structured databases. C. Preparing and cleaning data for analysis. D. Visualizing complex data structures. The correct answer is C. Preparing and cleaning data for analysis. Explanation. Data wrangling involves the process of cleaning, transforming, and preparing raw data for analysis. This includes tasks such as handling missing values, removing duplicates, standardizing formats, and creating derived features. Question 22. What distinguishes Dell EMC Data Science Solutions from other data science platforms? A. Advanced visualization capabilities. B. Integration with cloud based analytics services. C. Support for big data technologies like Hadoop and Spark. D. Built in machine learning algorithms. The correct answer is C. Support for big data technologies like Hadoop and Spark. 
Explanation Dell EMC Data Science Solutions distinguish themselves by offering comprehensive support for big data technologies such as Hadoop and Spark. These platforms provide the scalability, performance, and flexibility needed to handle large volumes of data and complex analytics workloads efficiently. Question 23. Which NLP technique is commonly used for text classification tasks by representing words as dense, fixed-size vectors? A. Word embeddings. B. Bag of words, bow. C. Term frequency inverse document frequency, TFIDF. D. Latent Dirichlet allocation, LDA. The correct answer is A. Word embeddings. Explanation. Word embeddings are a popular technique in natural language processing, NLP, for representing words as dense, fixed size vectors in continuous vector spaces. Unlike traditional approaches like bag of words, BO, or term frequency inverse document frequency, TFIDF, which represent words as sparse, high dimensional vectors, word embeddings capture semantic relationships and contextual information between words. Question 24. In deep learning, what is the primary advantage of using convolutional neural networks, CNNs, for image processing tasks? A. Ability to handle sequential data. B. Scalability to large datasets. C. Effective feature extraction from raw pixels. D. Interpretability of learned representations. The correct answer is C. Effective feature extraction from raw pixels. Explanation. Convolutional neural networks, CNNs, are widely used in deep learning for image processing tasks due to their ability to perform effective feature extraction directly from raw pixel data. Unlike traditional neural networks, which require handcrafted feature engineering, CNNs automatically learn hierarchical representations of images through the application of convolutional filters. Question 25. In big data analytics, which dimensionality reduction technique is commonly used to project high-dimensional data onto a lower-dimensional space while preserving its intrinsic structure and relationships? A. T-distributed stochastic neighbor embedding, T-SNE. B. Random forest. C. Principal component analysis, PCA. D. A priori algorithm. The correct answer is A. T-distributed stochastic neighbor embedding, T-SNE. Explanation. T-distributed stochastic neighbor embedding, T-SNE, is a dimensionality reduction technique commonly used in big data analytics and machine learning to visualize high-dimensional data in a lower-dimensional space while preserving its local and global structures. Question 26. When applying graph analytics and network analysis, which metric is commonly used to quantify the centrality of a node in a network based on its connectivity and influence? A. Eigenvector centrality. B. Degree centrality. C. Betweenness centrality. D. Closeness centrality. The correct answer is C. Betweenness centrality. Explanation. Betweenness centrality is a key metric in graph analytics used to quantify the importance or centrality of a node in a network based on its position in mediating shortest paths between other nodes. Nodes with high betweenness centrality act as bridges or intermediaries connecting disparate parts of the network and are crucial for maintaining communication and information flow. Question 27. What is a characteristic feature of model deployment strategies for big data analytics? A. Sequential processing of batch data. B. Centralized model hosting and management. C. Integration with legacy database systems. D. Scalable and distributed model serving. The correct answer is D. Scalable and distributed model serving. Explanation. A characteristic feature of model deployment strategies for big data analytics is scalable and distributed model serving. In big data environments, deployed models need to handle large volumes of data and accommodate varying workloads efficiently. Question 28. What is a primary consideration when selecting big data visualization techniques? 
A. The complexity of the visualization algorithms. B. The compatibility with legacy data formats. C. The ability to convey insights effectively. D. The speed of data processing. The correct answer is C. The ability to convey insights effectively. Explanation. A primary consideration when selecting big data visualization techniques is the ability to convey insights effectively. Visualization techniques should be chosen based on their ability to represent complex data relationships, patterns, and trends in a clear, intuitive, and informative manner. Question 29. What is a key consideration in advanced feature engineering for big data? A. Maximizing data redundancy to improve model accuracy. B. Incorporating domain knowledge to create meaningful features. C. Using the same set of features for all machine learning models. D. Ignoring feature importance analysis to simplify model training. The correct answer is B. Incorporating domain knowledge to create meaningful features. Explanation. A key consideration in advanced feature engineering for big data is incorporating domain knowledge to create meaningful features that capture relevant patterns and relationships in the data. Feature engineering involves transforming raw data into informative features that can improve the performance of machine learning models. Question 30. In the context of emerging trends and innovations in big data analytics, which of the following technologies is characterized by its ability to process and analyze unstructured data sources such as text, images, and videos? A. Natural Language Processing, NLP. B. Machine Learning. C. Virtual Reality, VR. D. Blockchain Technology. The correct answer is A. Natural Language Processing, NLP. Explanation. Natural Language Processing, NLP, is a branch of artificial intelligence, I, that focuses on enabling computers to understand, interpret, and generate human language. In the context of big data analytics, NLP plays a crucial role in processing and analyzing unstructured data sources.